Sometimes in life you just have to accept that you've got a big forehead. My goodness, do I have a big forehead. Hello my friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if this is your first time in this neck of the woods, don't be alarmed. Many humans have large foreheads, okay? I'm just one of them. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Melissa or Missa. Call me whatever you want, as long as it's fairly polite. That is my social media down there, you go follow them. Um, welcome. Today, I'm doing this look here. I've been asked a few times to play with more orange and I'm not sure that I've got a lot of orange on my face, but I do have orange on my face. And also, I saw this most stunning look. It's one of those like arm, you'll see it on the screen. I saw this look on Instagram and I just had to do my own kind of spin on it, which is what we're doing today. I can't pronounce the Instagram name, but it's it will be linked. We're gonna play, I mean, my eyes, which is the main part of the video, is pretty much all drugstore. We're playing with my Lottie London Twilly Living My Best Life palette. I mean, it's great, look at it, <laughs> look at it. And one of my new, um, what are they called? Sheen Epic Liners, which is UV. Let's have, oh, 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 how cool is that? So if you want to see how to do this, if you're bored, if you just want to fanny around, if you want to put your own makeup on, if you're hoovering, if you're eating breakfast or making dinner, just pop me on in the background and let's just fanny around together for some time because I will say this look, I mean it's taking me like five hours to film so I can't tell you how long the video will be. Let's just get on with it. I'm just flibbering and flabbering so much because all I feel inside of me is anxiety and I don't know why. <laughs> Let's get on with the video, shall we? Um, I I am um, starting off. I feel so I don't even know the word. Not anxious. Maybe anxious. I don't know. Anyway, I'm priming with my ABH primer. I'm just gonna whack it up here, like on the side of my nose. You know what word I hate is nostrils. That's why I never say it in my videos. Don't know where that came from. Don't know why I'm using this. To be honest, I just am. Um, um, usually I use my Revlon. Today I thought, you know what, let's use, let's use this. Um, right. So taking my beloved palette, I'm gonna dip into the black, which is called No Tea No Shade. Um, I mean, where do I start this to match it up? Who knows? And it's gonna take a line up here. And hope that it somewhat matches. It's kind of starting off the shape, you know me. And then, same shade, no tea, no shade. Ha ha ha. This is just a tiny wee pencil brush. I'll just kind of smear it around a bit more. You know what it is? I'm in my pajamas, and that makes me feel weird when I'm filming now. Like top half pajamas. It makes me feel like I'm not ready. Um, I didn't bother like priming all down here because I'm gonna have to clean that up anyway and I just thought it would kind of be like wasting primer almost. I'm gonna take, hey guys, oh, hey guys, my brushes are just rolling around everywhere. I'm just gonna start blending this, I'm gonna go in on the black and just above the black. I just want all this depth on the side of my nose, I just want to go clearly dramatic, I mean when don't I? Well, Sunday's video wasn't very dramatic. Seeing that. Then, I don't know what brushes I used, I've got so many. I'll take Chiquitarian and then I'll take, what's that called? Porky. So this is Chiquitarian first. Again, just slightly on that deeper brown and a Above it. And then yeah, some porky. Which is the second latest matte. I've got that ABH primer all over here, so I'm not just like putting shadow on my bare skin. Just kind of flapping it on. I think that's something I'll need to like finagle with when I get my base on. I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more hey guys. And that deepest brown. I forget how much I love this palette. 
until I crack it out. And then, yeah, I'm just blown away every time. And then I'll just take a little bit more of the black, which is no tea, no shade. What do I do? I'm gonna grab more of my primer. I just like squeeze it out on the base of my mirror and then have it to hand. And I'm just gonna take more primer. And just try and match up. So I'll just do that roughly first and then I can just play with it. Then I'm going to take my Sheen Epic Liner in Tango. So it's not one of the pastel ones. It's one of the like just like normal neons. Spray some water in there. And my favourite Morphe M250-0. Tiny, teeny, tiny little brush. This is obviously going to go all the way around this. And I can be not very neat down below as usual. I mean, who is neat down below in these days? We've been stuck inside for so long. <laughs> then, make up wipe or whatever. Bit of micellar water, my depotting tool. Because it's very, very sharp. And I'm going to take most of this off. I just want a very thin line. It's going to start to get noisier outside from now on, I think, because the shops are like starting to reopen. Well, Greg's was open yesterday for the first time. I was tempted. But I also don't really trust someone else to make food for me still, so... <laughs> It'll be a while before I have a Greg's. If you've not seen me do this before, I am not at all being harsh on my eye. Trust me. Oakley Doakley. More primer, again. It's a lot of just like, put on, wipe off, put on, wipe off, put on, wipe off. I am gonna go around my line. Right, what I did was, took the powder that I'll use on my face, which is my Maybelline Superstay Powder in 10 Ivory. You can tell I enjoy this. A teeny tiny wee brush, it doesn't have a name. My deepest apologies, it's from Morphe. Just up at the start of this primer, I'm just gonna set it. I can't like leave unset primer, plus I want it to match my skin tone and not be just like shocking white. More primer all over this joint. Probably just should prime first and then put powder on, but I like to do things backwards and make it difficult for myself. This is all taking me in real time, 18 minutes and 58 seconds. If you're wondering. Right, back to my palette. I am gonna take the black shade. Hanotti no shade. See, I just don't like that EVH primer all over my lid. I feel like it gives me a lot of texture. But, I mean, no one's really gonna notice when all my eyeshadow is on. Just gonna put this onto it halfway. Just making sure it's above my crease and my eyes open. I'll just use this very small brush, should use a bigger one, just to fill this in. It's a really good black eyeshadow, it's not the best, but it is a good one. Let's start blending this out. I'll take this brush, oh dear. I'll just take a tiny bit more black, just to start blend, oh, just to start blending it a bit. I mean, it is a good eyeshadow base if you've maybe got better skin than me. It does make eyeshadows pop. And 
Usually I leave my brushes out in order, but I just haven't today. <laughs> I don't know what I use. Then I'll use Hey Guys to blend that out. There's maybe even something about this primer that makes eyeshadows like almost too pigmented. And so I always have to be careful not to put too much on. Which is not usually a complaint I would make, is it? Why am I complaining? Just be happy, Melissa getting like the bones of my my blending on then i'll take chikitarian and then porky what a palette this is and for the price it's nuts madness i tell you i'm not bringing it very far into this inner corner as you can tell I also took the end of my brows off again yesterday just so that they're not in the way of these blown out looks that I like doing. I'm not trying to be super precise here just because I like always come back and end up blending more so. I'll put that on and then a big fat brush and porky. Such a good shade. Like for blending out onto pale skin. Oh, it's perfect. Again, not bringing it very far in, but what I will do is go in with that brush that I used earlier and I'll use this time the shade literally. And this will start to blend up into the space that I set with my face powder. It's darker, but it just, it does something. Again, I'm going to just go back through all of those shades, just in the same order I put them on, and just blend. So I'll probably speed it up a little. You don't need to sit and watch me forever. That's looking a bit better, but again, I'll work on that when I've got my base on. Let's just throw on our cut crease. Second cut crease? I've just started watching Transparent on Amazon Prime. I'd never heard of it before. And if you see me looking over here, it's because I'm watching it. Point. Second cut crease. Same primer. I wasn't actually planning on doing a second orange line, but then I realized there wasn't much definition between what was going on, so I felt like I needed to add it. Don't bother like wasting primer filling it in, because we are going to clean it up. More of the liner! This is why we're not going to bother like filling all this in, because we have to clean it up. So we're going to do another orange line. We are going to clean this bad boy up. And you guessed it. We're going to fill it in with primer. And I'll go, where did I put it? Back to my face powder, my Maybelline. Fill it in with my face powder once again. I actually really like the colour it goes. It goes just like this beigey colour. Okay, and then back to my palette, I'm just going to use my M507. Go through all my shades again, just the ones we've been using this whole time. Like Porky, Hey Guys, Chikatarian, just all of them and just blend this onto my outer corner. Hmm. There we go, that's a start. And then, I, how many brushes do I have? About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty
29 brushes in front of me for this. <laughs> My beloved Ofra liner. As you can see on the other side, I'm just gonna do a thick angled upwards line. It's just my kind of style. If I could urge you to spend 14 pounds, it would be on this liner. It's just so good. I'm gonna grab Cocolina. No, no, I'll do that in a second. Ever the indecisive person, Sean Maloney pigment from Sample Beauty. I have a discount code if you want it, it's down below. <laughs> and I'm using my collection glue. It's just in the center. I don't want to brush this, it's a real techniques one. It doesn't have a name, it's tiny. It does have a name. It's just rubbed off because I've had it in my collection for so long. Oh, this pigment's beautiful. I don't know if I can show you without spilling it. I've banged on about this pigment many times in the past. Oh! Look at it! Look at it! Tell me that doesn't make you feel some way. Fallout Central! That is no matter to us, is it? Don't have our base on. And then I'll go in with Coco Lina. What brush is this? Doesn't have a name. I really picked a good set of brushes today, haven't I? And it's gonna start fading this into the black. I always take it like a little further than I really need to. And then another brush. This one does have a name and it's the same one pretty much. A bit of the black eyeshadow. So, oh, I just think these kind of looks, like they are fairly easy, like putting something fun on your liner, but it, they just look quite impactful, I always think. Underneath my brow, I took my beloved Amazon dupe highlighter. This is in shade three, this is the palest one, and I just want it to be real intense. I'm gonna spray it, I was gonna try and spray it with that. That won't work. Use my Primark primer water. I just want it to be so intense. I just took it down that line a little bit on the other side, yeah. And obviously when I blend, I'll help blend into that. We're not quite done. <laughs> I've been filming for a while now. I actually took, just because I'm me, my little ColourPop white gel eyeliner and popped this on my inner corner first. And then I went over the top with that Amazon highlighter. I just want it to be like so bright white. And I think that's all I did. I'm gonna clean up my fallout, do my base. I'll probably, I'll do my base on camera but I'll do it like silently so I can watch my show. <laughs> and you can still see what I'm using. And I was, I like to watch other people do their bases because you just like see, you know, a big transformation from like normal looking skin to like perfected full coverage skin. So yeah, I'll just jump into doing that. I'm just gonna take some more sellotape and just pat my skin. This is the best way I find to get rid of like glitter. Back in a sec, we'll do our base. Nice and quickly. I think we have to do a cool under eye as well. I don't just want to do like a plain under eye.
So I'm just panning around on the outside of my eye. I just want to drag it out past the brow. Keep smoking it out. You know how I be. I'm um, just using the same palette, obviously. Bunch of the same brushes. And then the lower lash line, I'm just doing that thing where we like drag it straight line on the inside just because I think it looks really cool. Um, and just smoking that out with a few more browns. I'm using Colourpop Puppy on my waterline, one of their cream and gel liners. I don't think I've ever used it before. I definitely prefer my NYX orange eyeliner, but they don't make that anymore. So I'm using this and putting a little bit of the UV one down there too, just for fun. A bit more highlight on the inner corner. And my brows, they're always the same thing. It is my ABH Dip Brow and the 317 brush because it's excellent. And there's nothing else to say because that's it done. I'm going to go throw some lashes on. I put my lashes on. These are Pinky Goat Nura lashes, but they're stacked with like some cheapy eBay ones just to make them a bit thicker. My lips, I thought I'd go brown because I did orange in a recent video and then I did a pale nude, so I thought a deeper brown. This is Huda Spice Girl. And then on top of that, I've gone in with one of my favourites. This is Colourpop Trap. Um... This used to be like one of my favourite colours which is so weird because it's so dark and like brown which is not really me anymore but I still really like it. So I guess I should brush my hair, put my hips in and that'll be us at the end of this journey. Nah, I'm not going to bother doing anything else with my hair. I, I tried to look cool and whatever. It's a high bun. I have a big forehead. Okay, get used to it. It's there. It's me I'm talking to. I hate my forehead. So my makeup is done and I have to say I'm pretty happy with it. Like... All in all, I was really, I wasn't really stressed out, that's such a stupid thing to say. Well, I was kind of stressed out. Can I be stressed out about makeup? I'd sat here for like ages trying to do makeup and it wasn't working, same yesterday. And then I did this eye and I sent it to my Patreon WhatsApp group and I was like, do I bother? And they gave me some encouragement and love and I persevered and I'm happy with it. Overall, I have a lot of makeup on. And I kind of feel like... I don't know, like a villain in a Disney movie and I like it. Overall, really happy. I just, I'm still in love with those sheen liners. I've only, think I've used them twice on my channel now, but maybe three times? No, twice. I don't know. And I just think you're going to see so much more of them because for $5.99, that's a really good deal. They're UV. That's just fun. Um, my Sean Maloney pigment, great. My Lloyd London palette, great. My skin looks great. I'm just trying to finish up that NARS foundation, which is why I keep using it, but... I mean, I've got to say, I just adore it. And I wouldn't be using it up so fast, but I have like four bottles of it now, so that's why I don't mind using it up. So I really hope you enjoyed, oh, was not a fart, that was my foot. Oh, I can't replicate it now. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, my friends. I, it's only 20 to five now, so it's not actually taking me that long. So if you did enjoy it, a wee thumbs up always helps. Leave me a comment down below, anything you want, make sure to tell me what you want to see on my channel. And subscribe because that is the law now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you on Friday if you want to be here again. Hasta la vista, baby.